No, I'm dying to take that caller, but I have to uh, take a brief break first before we do. Make sure that clown, I mean, that caller doesn't hang up, okay, Mr. Call Screener? Josh, Phoenix, Arizona, the great KKNT. Quickly, go. Hey, Mark, thank you so much. I've, uh, I've, it's an honor to talk to you. So listen, I'm going to have to disagree with you a little bit about Obamacare. I've had the pleasure of studying health care delivery around the world for the last couple of years, and I can just tell you something, that the Obamacare plan, was, besides the fact that it was something that was presented by conservatives, and I'm sort of a Republican, uh, whether it was the American Enterprise or whether it was New Guinea Ridge or whether it was Dole, it's basically based on the model that uh, the reason why you have to include everybody is so that you have healthy people paying into premiums so unhealthy people can be subsidized for a while. Uh, our, our delivery in health care in America, but we have great health care if you can afford it, is uneven and unfair. And, and before Obamacare, or let's say just historically, we've had ration care. The rationing was done by insurance companies in which they decided to pick and choose which procedures you would get. Whether you were, uh, were you, whether you, were you needed a procedure, how much it would cost, and where you would get it, and etc. Isn't that so amazing? Basically. Isn't that amazing? When I go to Sears to buy a product, uh, they get to decide uh, what their prices are in competition with, say, Macy's, and their, and they get to decide in competition with, say, uh, Lord and Taylor, and these others. That funny. They get to decide these prices, and I get to decide what, if anything, I want to pay. And then you see, if I don't have any money to pay, we have this massive program that's bankrupting the states. You may have heard of this, sir, when you were doing your research. It's called Medicaid. And Medicaid pays in some states 400% over the poverty level for some people. It consumes in most states 25% of their budget. Have you heard of Medicaid, sir? Uh, let me go on. Let me, let me, let me finish. And your utopian test uh, that the, the delivery is uneven. Uh, have you ever been to the post office? Have you ever been to the IRS? Have you ever dealt with the Agriculture Department? Have you ever done, dealt in public education? Have you ever looked at the uh, various uh, spending on highways in the country? You notice everything's uneven? Funny how that works, because we call it imperfection, because humans are imper imperfect, and their institutions are imperfect, and the more you centralize them and hand over power to politicians and bureaucrats, sir, a.k.a. masterminds, doesn't make them more perfect but less perfect. So you're prepared to take the greatest health care system on the face of the earth, already being undermined, drive up the premiums with these pre-existing things and the 26-year-olds and free contraceptives and whatever uh, other noble political decisions Obama and the others can make and drive many of us out of the private health insurance market. The insurance companies aren't doing this. You're doing it. You're and the people you, hold on now. Now because you already did your talking points. Now I'm going to be a liberal and I'm going to I'm going to go through the whole damn thing. We are well aware of these issues, sir. We debated them for a couple of years now and the American people rejected it. Now, despite everything I've just said, it won't change one damn thing you think. But let's pretend that we're both right or we're both wrong. I notice in your little diatribe you never brought up the constitution, did you? The, well, the problem is so what is the constitutional the basis, pal, for any of this? Give him the 20-second Marxist clock. Go. No, but you still have not given one rational. Oh, you're talking over me. All I'm saying to you is that I'm not angry at you. I'm not angry at the Constitution. Pal, pal, uh, stop with this gestalt crap. I just asked you a question, and I'll try again as you mumble your way through this like Patrick Leahy. What is the constitutional basis for Obamacare? Go. You're not defining the problem. You are just screaming at a bomb. All right, get out of here. I can't take it. No, no, I'm not defining the problem. I addressed every point he made, and then I threw one on the table that he can't answer. And none of the liberals can answer without lying. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have passion. That's right. I don't sit here and pretend that I'm something I'm not. I don't sit here and pretend that I'm not a human being. No. And when people are trying to destroy this country, trying to pull wool over your eyes, and they do it over and over and over again, I'm not going to sit here and talk like we're talking about whether or not to get a, an Almond Mounds bar or just a Mounds bar. No. No. You can sue insurance companies. You can appeal their, their claims. You got lawyers who become filthy rich, bringing suits against doctors and hospitals and all the rest. Can you sue the federal government when it makes a decision, a bad decision? Only if the federal government lets you sue it. So what's your appeal going to be when your coverage is denied? 
There isn't going to be an appeal. Just listen to how he talked. The delivery is uneven. The delivery is uneven. Of course it's uneven. I don't know where delivery is perfectly even anywhere. Do you, Mr. Producer? You could call a plumber in the Yellow Pages, pick one, an electrician. You can choose a veterinarian to take your dog to. You can pick a painter. You can buy a car. None of it's even. It's all uneven. It's called liberty. And we like it. And we get to make choices. And we learn from our mistakes and our failures. It's called liberty, where we treat the individual like a human being. Did I say that too loudly? I'll be right back. 